Now to that developing story in Hamden. This morning, fire investigators are looking into what caused a fire at an apartment building that killed a woman last night. The flames and heavy smoke also left dozens of people temporarily without a home. Eyewitnesses reporter Roger Suzanne and George is now live from the scene. Roger, sounds like it was really fast moving fire. Yeah, Wendell, this is just a horrible story. And in large part, it is such a sad story because of how quickly the fire did move. The fire itself actually started on the fourth floor of this apartment building. And you know, the truth is, if not for the heroism of some handed firefighters, even more people could have lost their lives. The woman who did die lived in a fourth floor unit uh, where the fire actually started. Now, I want you to take a look at this photo a viewer sent to us as the fire was really raging. And you can see just a thick line of flames at that time. And despite the danger though, handed firefighters actually were able to pull that victim along with her pet out of the burning apartment. But sadly, we are told that she did die a short time later from her injuries. But I mentioned that firefighters likely saved at least one other life. That's because they did rescue another man who actually lived right across the hallway from where that fire started. Now, he declined medical treatment, but Hamden's fire chief tells us he is expected to be okay, again, thanks to those heroic firefighters. This apartment building is located at 95 K View Drive here in Hamden, and it's a very large complex. Emergency responders at the scene tell us up to 40 people, sadly, have been displaced, but the American Red Cross is trying to help them out during what must be a very, very difficult time. Now, the fire marshal is tr still trying to figure out exactly what caused this fire. We're told that firefighters actually did a really good job containing the smoke and the flames, mostly to that one unit where the fire started, but again, obviously, there's heavy damage to many other units and again around 40 people have been displaced. Reporting live this morning at Hampton, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.